Yes. It didn't. Yes. I look forward to that. <laughs> Got it. Good. Okay. Hi, everyone. Welcome to our deal or no deal story time. Today is really a story of no deals. So lately,、um, in the last couple of months, we sent out multiple contracts, multiple multiple contracts, but none of them got signed. Let me tell you what happened in each case. So case number one,、uh, I was representing a seller. The buyer took about a month to negotiate contract. Finally, contract was finalized and was signed, and he gave us the ten percent. And the next morning, he said, "Ah,、oh, never mind. I changed my mind." Um, the the buyer's agent said to me, "Was something happened with the family?" But you know that was also the day Israel struck Iran, so I would never know what the actual reason was because I wasn't on the buy side. But that was the reason I told myself. Case number two, I was also on the selling side. The buyer came, fell in love with the apartment, country went out, and、uh, during due diligence, buyer's attorney. Uh, while reading the board meeting minutes, saw there's a mention of a lawsuit in the building, and that's it. They she didn't bother to ask further questions to clarify what the lawsuit was about. The buyer went away immediately, and then we looked into it. Right, the seller didn't tell me. Turned out it's been going on for four years, and it was really、um, one of the owners was suing the board for wrongfully allocating common charges. So we were suing each other over a few thousand dollars. And the and the, the owner in question has since、um, sold his unit and moved on. And the current owner has no question paying the common charges. But anyway,、um, the the buyer moved on. And case number three, I was on the buying side. So my buyer and I we went to see that unit a few times, and the buyer signed the contract. And we negotiated the contract for for a few weeks, and she signed. And then she pushed back two appointments with her banker、uh, to wire the ten percent. And after the second appointment, she called me. She said, "Oh, I'm just not sure. Right, the <clears throat> the rate、uh, went up by seventy five basis points from when our offer was accepted. So during the three weeks of contract negotiation, rate went up by seventy five basis points. And、um, it, it's not it's not a huge it's a few hundred dollars more in monthly payment." And she also knows. I, I, I. We talked, and she understands in her head that it's temporary. Rates will come down, but this change made her think. Maybe this isn't the ideal apartment for me after all. You know. So she、uh, decided not to move forward. Case number four. I was also on the buying side.、Uh, my buyer saw an apartment, and this is the apartment that she saw、uh, a few years ago too. So we're circling back to the same apartment. And it's still available.、Um, we got a good price, and country went up. And then、uh, she decided to talk to her boyfriend, who didn't like the apartment.、Um, you shouldn't tell me, but I, I, I think this little bit of a change also made her question if、um, this was going to be a dream apartment for her after all. I can go on, right? And this has really happened one after the other, after the other. So I think what's happening now at this juncture. Buyers, some buyers, they know in their head it's a good opportunity to come in and buy something before rates actually go down. But emotionally,、um, they cannot really get behind it. Any little change will make them change their mind. Now, this is a lot better than last year, where nobody was doing anything. I didn't have any stories to tell.、Uh, at least this year, I have some stories to tell. <laughs> Now, but after this, who still wants to be a real estate agent?